Hey, here we are once again. I'm gonna do two prefaces this time instead of the ESV. I want to do New King James Version. And I'm gonna do every single part of it, just enough where it talks about the um, you know, the first couple of paragraphs. You know, it talks about the King James and things like that. Why it replaced it and stuff like that. Why it wants to replace it and things of that nature. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of make it short and sweet. First of all, I'm gonna read the um, I believe the New King James Version came out before the ESV, so I'm going to read that. Let's see here. Yeah, I think it did. It says, the purpose, this is the New King James Version. And it says, the purpose is, in the preface of, to the 1611 edition, the translators of the authorized version, known popularly as the King James Bible, state that it was not their purpose to make a new translation but to make a good one better and did it to the earlier work of William Tyndall and others they saw their best contribution to consist in revising and enhancing the, excellent, uh, the excellence of the English versions which had sprung from the Reformation of the 16th century. In harmony with the purpose of the King James scholars translators and the editors of the present work have not pursued a goal of innovation. Wow. Do tell. Hmm. Anyway. Sorry. Hmm. What is that? They have perceived the Holy Bible New King. Yeah. New King James Version as a contribution of the labors of the earlier translators, thus unlocking for today, um, today's readers, the spiritual treasures found, especially in the authorized version of the Holy, of the Holy Scriptures. So it's like, you know, yeah, we're just helping them out. We're just helping the authorized version out by putting a little bit of stuff in there for ourselves. And we're just helping it out. Right. Yeah. Okay, so this is of course Thomas Nelson. For nearly four hundred years, this is a living legacy, so and throughout several revisions of its English form, the King James Bible has been deeply reverend among the English speaking peoples of the world. The precision the precision of translation for which it is historically renowned and its majesty of style has enabled that monumental version of God's word to become the mainspring of religion, the language, and legal foundations of our civilization. Now here we go. This is like what the RSV and the NRSV says. Like, um, yet the, the King James authorized version has great effects or serious defects. Here we go. Maybe it doesn't say exactly that. Although the Elizabethan period in our own era share in zeal for technical advance, the former period was more aggressively devoted to classical learning. Along with this awakened concern for the classics came a flourishing companion in the interest of the, in the scriptures, an interest that was enlivened by the conviction that the manuscripts were providentially handed down and were, tr were a trustworthy record of the inspired word of God. The King James translators were committed to producing an English Bible that would be a precise translation and by no means a paraphrase or, a pre or broadly approximate rendering. On the one hand, the scholars were almost as familiar with the original languages of the Bible as with their native English. Huh. You think? On the other hand, their reverence for all, for the reverence for the divine author and its word assured a translation of the scriptures in which only a principle of utmost accuracy could be accepted. In 1786, Catholic scholar Alexander Giddies said of the King James Bible, if accuracy and strictest attention to the letter of the text be supposed to constitute an excellent version this is of all versions the most excellent the most excellent george bernard shaw bernard shaw became a literary legend in our century because of his severe and often humorous criticisms 
of our most cherished values. Surprisingly, however, Shaw pays the following tribute to the scholars commissioned by King James. The translation was extraordinary, extraordinarily well done because to the translators what they were translating was not merely a curious collection of ancient books written by different authors in different stages of culture, but the Word of God divinely revealed through His chosen expressly inspired scribes. And this conviction they carried out there in work with boundless reverence and care and achieved a beautifully artistic result. History agrees with these estimates. Therefore, while seeking to unveil the excellent form, the excellent form of the traditional English Bible, special care has also been taken in the present edition to preserve the work of precision, which is which is a legacy of the 1611 translators. Now, I have to say, I do like their, you know, I like what it says here, but still, you know, still you have a, uh, another version, you know what I mean? I mean, you can say that King James was excellent, so there's a new one now putting just a little bit of change here and there, and I've read through some of King James, and I realize that, but still, it's another version, it takes away from the, uh, the original. And if you look on the best-selling Bibles, it's the NIV is the best-selling, the King James is the most selling, and then third to that is the New King James, which, in some ways, it helps so other people can go back and see what the King James says, the authorized version says, in other ways it doesn't. You know what I mean? I guess in this case you got to take the good or the bad. Now, let's go to the ESV. The English Standard Version, which, by the way, is a revision of the Revised Standard Version, which was a revision of the ASV, not directly, and which was a revision of the ERV, the English Revised Version, which was a revision of the King James, supposedly. You see, the ESV was a revision of the new Revised Version. It was a revision, revision of the Revised Version, Standard Version. Yeah, so on that. There we go. But it says it in there. Okay, the ESV says this book is the most valuable thing that the, this world affords. Here is wisdom. This is the royal law. These are the lively oracles of God. With these words, the moderator of this church of Scotland handed Bible to the new monarch in Britain's coronation service. These words echo the King James Bible translators. Always talking about the King James Bible translators, but never ever actually going by what the King James Bible translator said. If that were the case, then they would not have these books. They would not have these modern translations. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Who wrote in 1611, God's sacred word is that inestimable treasure, that excellence of all the riches of the earth. This assessment of the Bible is the motivating force behind the publication of the English Standard Version. Let me read this thing. It says, God's second word is that inestimable treasure that excelleth all the riches of the earth. That's right, it is. Praise God for that. <clears throat> the English Standard Version, the ESV, stands in the classic mainstream of English Bible translations over the past half millennium. The fountainhead of that stream was William Tyndall. <clears throat> William Tyndall's New Testament of 1526 marking his course where the King James Version of 1611 KJV, the English Revised Version of 1885 RV, the American Standard Version 1901 ASV, and, they, and the um, Revised Standard Version of 1952-1971 RSV. And that stream, Faithfulness, uh, let's see. 
to the text and vigorous pursuit of accuracy were combined with simplicity, beauty, beauty rather, and dignity of expression. Our goal has been to carry forward this legacy for a new century. And others have tried to come on. To this end, each word and phrase in the ESV has been carefully weighed against the original Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek to ensure the fullest accuracy and clarity to avoid under translating or overlooking any nuance of the original text. The words and phrases themselves grow out of the Tyndall King James legacy. Where have I saw this before? And then most recently out of the RSV with the 1971 RSV text providing the starting point for our work. Archaic language has been brought to current usage and significant corrections have been made in the translation of key texts. But throughout, our goal has been to retain the depth of meaning and enduring language that have made their inedible mark on the English speaking word world rather and have defined the life and doctrine of the church over the past four centuries again i might get into the translation philosophy and things like that there's two three pages of this um you know i'm sure it has its things same thing to say as others did so i'm not really going to go there with that and I just wanted to kind of read as to what it said as compared to the King James authorized version. But that's pretty interesting about the uh, the new King James version. I was surprised to even read that. That's the first time I ever read that before. So I'm kind of looking forward to the preface of the, like, the message, the new century version, and things like that, you know. And so, anyway, um, so there we go. There's the the preface for the new king james which is kind of beholden to the authorized version but yet it's still changed even just a little bit of words to change is another version even though it praises the, the original but anyway and, and we also got the esv and the show it is a um uh, 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 it's a spin-off or rsv of 1971 and not only that but in 2007, there was another edition put out. Things were changed. They kept the same name. And then in 2011, another edition was put out. Actually, revision, not editions. And But the, um, the newest edition, of course, 2011, it would be the third uh, edition, I guess. And there's also been another edition of the NASB, I believe, and also the NIV, which is now the TNIV. How about that? Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have watched, if not, bless your face. If you sneeze during this video, bless your face. If not, bless you. I know, Toby Turner, but hey, I thought it was pretty funny. God bless y'all. Take care. Thanks for watching.